Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and today I'm gonna to show you something that I believe you should do no matter who you are watching this, no matter what you're going through with your body because I'm gonna show you how to release your diaphragm fascia and maybe a few uh, other pieces of fascia in the general area here. But the reason to do this one is if you are a breathing creature, I think you should probably do this one or at least check it out to see how uh, tight and restricted this area is because if your diaphragm fascia is stuck to, let's say your ribs or maybe some of the other organs here, you're not gonna be breathing as well. And what we really want with breathing is a wave-like fluidity to the rib cage, to the diaphragm. You want that diaphragm to be able to expand as you breathe in and collapse fluidly as you breathe out. Uh, so just one thing real quick before I show you this technique. Uh, I highly, highly recommend that you get into your lat region and kind of some of this side rib stuff and potentially into that rear deltoid as well. Um, the lat though is, is you know, it's kind of this portion of the lat that I'm talking about. And I have a technique or two here on Mobility Mastery for that. So you can look it up via search words. We'll also link to it in the description box below this video. Uh, but what we're actually going after with that one is the junction of that lat where it kind of meets the ribs and some of the intercostals. And if that junction is really tight, your ribs likely won't even be able to expand. So releasing your diaphragm while you know, positive and beneficial might not do a whole lot to get you that wave-like expansion that we're looking for with breathing. So those are my two things I would combine them. Uh, so lats and then do what I'm about to show you with the diaphragm to really maximize this area, uh, bring back fluidity, help, you know, bring blood in there, give it give that fascia and all the musculature it needs, um, the space it needs, uh, the musculature uh, to expand and contract, right? So we're looking for fluid fascia, fluid movement, um, easy movement when you're breathing. So this is a favorite of mine. I love this one and it's really easy. So all you really need is a chair to sit in uh, and your own two hands. So your hands are gonna be your tool here and I wanna just orient you to a little bit of anatomy on yourself. So um, my ribs are right here, the very bottoms of them, so down here. Um, but I'm starting up here, kind of in the center, um, not right in the center, but just adjacent to the center. So right here, we've got that linea alba and maybe, you know, probably some rectus abdominis fascia and some other things as well. So just some superficial fascia here and then some visceral fascia underneath that. Uh, that visceral, visceral fascia, of course, is any fascia that wraps the, the viscera, the organs. Um, and then the diaphragm, of course, sits under the ribs. So we're going after a couple things here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just this um, kind of linea alba rectus abdominis diaphragm fascia here, right below um, where my ribs end, right here. So you wanna use the flats of your fingers, not the pointy parts. Um, so it's the flat part that I'm kind of putting here um, onto this fascia. And it might be a little challenging for me to walk you through this verbally while I do it because you really wanna use your breathing. So this is the tool and if you've been hanging out for me for any length of time, then you know how you release fascia is compression and movement. So how you're gonna actually do movement is with your breath. So you're gonna use your breath against the compression to expand and contract. Uh, so just kind of getting the spot I want here. And then what you're gonna do is breathe in and then lean over, exhale, and really sink your hands in there, the flats, right? Um, and you're gonna find some tender spots and then you're just gonna breathe into them. So as I'm breathing in, I'm letting my fingers come out a little bit and then when I breathe out, I'm letting them sink in. And then I might even like do a little bit of on the exhale, moving my fingers around and then in 
without moving my fingers around. So I know you probably can't see that super well on the inside, but what's really happening there is I'm scooping in with my fingers. I'm holding a spot as I'm breathing in and my you know, ribs and everything is expanding, my belly's expanding. Uh, you really want to belly breathe here, not chest breathe. Um, then my, my fingers are moving with that a little bit. I'm keeping the compression, but I don't want to like totally pin down that tissue and not let it expand as I, as I breathe. So you want to let it expand as you breathe. And then when you breathe out is really your chance to sink as deep as you can get into that spot. Uh, and then you can just dig around a little bit. So what you would want to do is after that exhale, almost like hold your breath. Don't breathe in yet. And then breathe in, right? So you're digging around a little bit, right? I'm like moving like this as I'm bent over. So like that. So I'm just kind of like scooping side to side. So I hope that makes sense. So that's what I want you to do here. And then you're gonna move along the edge of your rib cage. And I'll just show you one or two more here, but you can do as much as you want um, along that rib cage into the diaphragm. So now we're getting it a bit more into the diaphragm. So I like to kind of stick my ribs out. <laughs> um, that way it's just super obvious where my fingers are going. So you wanna find um, where it kind of butterflies out a little bit right here, your ribs. Um, so there we go. So now I'm kind of scooping my fingertips in a bit more on this one. It's hard to do while I talk. So you want to be, have a relaxed belly and like let your fingers kind of come in. And then same thing, breath in and out. And then I'm bending over and then really like using my fingers to scoop that tissue around and my right side is a lot tighter today. Yeah, the left one feels good. So that might be something to notice too, is just like as you're kind of scooping things out. Um, one thing is you're kind of like scrubbing side to side, but with the diaphragm, you might also try pulling down a bit. So it's, hard, it's definitely gonna be hard for you to see this, but my fingers are kind of making a motion like that, like scooping towards my belly button a bit rather than just scooping or um, scrubbing side to side. Um, and then if you notice one side more tender, more sore, more sensation than the other, you could maybe just do that one on its own. Ooh, yeah. So I actually think what I'm getting into a bit here is my liver. Hi, liver. <laughs> so this is one of the things I love about fascia release. It's a diagnostics tool for you to learn more about your body. So right now I'm like, oh, my liver needs a little bit of attention. It's not so much my diaphragm over here is something on the right side. So you can use this to get to know the state of your body, the state of your viscera. Is it the diaphragm? Is it the stomach? So if there was anything over here really tender, it might indicate stomach stuff. Um, that's not so tender on me. Um, and then of course, if you really wanna take this all the way, you're gonna combine it with my abdominal fascia release for, for the gut, for getting into that, um, the intestines and kind of the um, more of the gut area. Uh, but today we're just focusing on um, everything along the rib cage. So I would maybe do another one, right? So I'm going a little, a little lower on the ribs. Ooh, it's all on the right side on me today. Um, but again, kind of scooping or scrubbing side to side and then down. So away, pulling away from the ribs a few times. The most important thing on this one is that your breathing be as relaxed as possible. So when you're, especially when you're exhaling, that's your chance to totally relax your tissue and really get in there. If you're bracing against it, if it's so intense that you're fighting yourself here, you might get sore and you might not really get in deep like you need to because that diaphragm is really like under the ribs, right? So when I'm working uh, with somebody on the diaphragm, I'm really actually trying to get in there and like pull it down. <laughs> it's a little harder to do on your own, um, but you can. But I just want you to know what we're really trying to do is like unstick the diaphragm fascia from the rib fascia, unstick any, you know, that like rectus, ab uh, rectus abdominis or linea alba fascia or any other fascia here in the viscera from um, the rib cage, just to bring more space to the rib cage so it can move like it's supposed to, right? So there you go. 
That is my uh, self diaphragm release. Uh, pretty easy to do. Of course, please use caution. Uh, if it feels wrong to you in any way, don't do it. Uh, don't dig in here and really like poke into tender spots like your belly button. Um, you know, we're, we're really trying to create like a as broad of a compression as we can get with our hands. Um, and of course, if you need medical supervision for any reason whatsoever, then please get that first. Um, because this is a really sensitive area. So just want to make sure you're, you're listening to your body. Uh, so, it, you know, it can feel intense, but if it feels wrong to you in any way, or you're questioning if you should be doing it, then maybe err on the side of don't for now until you get more information or maybe have somebody else show you what it should feel like. Um, that would maybe be someone like a massage therapist who does my abdominal massage or any other kind of abdominal massage. If that's something that they do, they can kind of show you how it should feel. Uh, but there you go. So you can, you know, do as many um, passes along here as you want. If this is a focus area for you, you could certainly spend five to 10 minutes just in this area alone. Uh, I would if recommend combining it, like I said, with the lats and then for a complete abdominal area release, I would go into the gut as well. Um, so we'll link those up for you, like I said, in the description below. Um, if you're new to the channel, I've also got a beginner's guide to fascia release uh, PDF guide, and then it has links to my top uh, self fascia release techniques, so you don't have to spend time looking for them. Uh, you can grab that also in the description box below. This below description box below this video. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you do try it, make sure to share your experience below because uh, so many of your stories I know are inspiring other people to get to know their body, to release fascia and feel more freedom and fluidity. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time.